Good morning, everybody out YouTube land. Well, today I'm planting an avocado. When I used to live in Colorado, we used to plant avocados in the house and grow some nice trees. They only got to about maybe two feet tall, but they were nice. So I'm going to try this outdoors here in the winter garden in Southern California. Here's my avocado seed. I soaked it in water for a few days. Now I'm peeling off the brown part. What do you think, buddy? Well, you think that's something interesting? Yeah, you like that? That's just an avocado seed. It's going to grow into a nice tree. So I'm going to peel this off. And I'm going to stick it in the dirt where I have some potatoes planted. Is that okay with you, bud? Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to pull back the pine needle mulch that I have here. And I'm going to plant that right in the middle of this box. Right in there. I wonder how many YouTubers used to be teachers. <laughs> Probably a lot of us. We like to show people what we're doing. Just like teachers. I was a teacher for many years. Anyway, avocado seed is in. Cover it up. And the potatoes are around the outside edges of this box. And we'll see what grows. Buddy is still interested in the avocado seed. <laughs> I'm going to water this in. And I'm going to replace the mulch. We'll see how that goes. Oh, this is funny. In my kiddie pool, I found a piece of white bread. It's actually the heel of white bread. And I haven't had a heel of white bread around my house in a long time. So I know this probably was a bird or a rodent who uh, picked this up out of the trash, somebody's trash. Yesterday was trash day. And uh, brought it down <laughs> to the pond. Hmm. I wonder if it could be a raccoon. You know, they say raccoons will take food and dip it in water. Kind of interesting. See, right in here is where I found it, in my kiddie pool full of rainwater. So I'm going to water everything today. We had quite a bit of rain, but it dries out fast because the last few days have been real warm in the middle of the day. While I'm out here with my camera, I might as well do a January garden tour. Here's a bucket of late bloomers in that I planted them afterwards, after other things in the bucket didn't grow. So in here I believe I've got a broccoli, a pea, an artichoke, and possibly a Brussels sprout. We'll see how they compete. We'll see who wins out. This one's got one of my original artichokes doing really well. Back here is a palm tree. See that? It looks like a blade of grass, but it's real stiff. Palm tree that just grew by itself. This one is also a collection of extras, a pea, a radish, an artichoke, and I don't know what that one is. A lot of those look the same when they're first sprouting up. This is my best lentil. And it's in here with, with a sprouting broccoli. Here's my broccoli that has, no sorry, here's my cauliflower, sorry, that has the grow oya under it. See there, I keep that full of water. And I'm comparing this one and this one that does not have the Groya. Both are doing well, but I think the one with the Groya has bigger leaves. 
What do you think? Here are my strawberries that I planted in December. Looking happy. The original pea plant has come all the way out of the top of this. These are large tomato cages. It's hooked onto the tree and it's just as happy as can be. There's one pea right there. Wow, that one might even be ready to eat today. Here's the original Brussels sprout. The original carrots. The small pea plant. And behind it, the medium pea plant, which has already come out of the top of its tomato cage also. Here are the two new ones I planted yesterday. The little groboyas in there. Let's see if I can see how much water seeped out. Oh, just about right. Not all of it, but just a little bit. And over here, I've got the... Uh, so I had the Juliet tomato, which succumbed to the frost, but I planted another one. So we'll see how that goes. Finally, the radishes. I want to pull one of these. I want to eat one of these today. Whoa! Look how big that is. Yummy. Should be good on my salad, huh? Here are the Chinese juniper cuttings. And last but not least, here are the poplar cuttings, a.k.a. cottonwood. My friends that live in areas where cottonwood trees grow in abundance, you can laugh at me. <laughs> How I break off little pieces and try to get some to grow. But, you know, there is one that grew here on my property as a volunteer, and I'll show it to you. Here it is. This little poplar tree that doesn't have any leaves on it right now because it's January just grew here all by itself. Now I would say about a mile from here on the other side of that hill there's a ravine that does have some poplar trees in it. So that must be where the seed came from. Here's another volunteer on my property. This little pine tree. I just love it. So cute. Just growing here on the hillside. Look at these little cuties. Baby palm trees. Growing right around the trunk of the mama. And finally, look at this little grass here. I threw some of these seeds out here a few years ago. And they're coming up. I love them. They grew into big, beautiful, grassy looking things. Here's one more. I love them. The ornamental grass. So there are about seven of them along here. Finally came up. How pretty. Now I have this big expanse of empty space here that used to be covered by a giant pine tree that they cut down about two years ago. That's where I got all of this pine pine uh, wood chips. All these pine wood chips came from that tree. There were two of them actually. But I've tried different things along here and nothing seems to be working well. Um, I've tried jade plant along here. I've tried oleanders along here. I'm trying this year some little pine trees. No, not pine, sorry, palm. Little palm trees that just came up in my buckets. And I thought, well, maybe they would be happy here. So let's see if I've got one right there. And I've got another one over here. So we'll see how those do. And then I also had some more seeds of that ornamental grass that I sprinkled along here right before it rained. So with any luck, we may have some pretty, pretty ornamental grasses growing along here. And maybe, and maybe a palm tree or two. I've got a little place set up here for my lunch. Got some crackers, some kale blazing juice, a little chicken salad, some barbecued beef. 
Yum! I love to sit here in the sunshine with my lunch and just enjoy the beautiful garden. Just a little doggy duet for your listening pleasure. Precious is looking for and listening for lizards and mice underneath the house. She can hear them back in there. Well, thank you all for enjoying this beautiful California morning with me. Look at the snow up on Big Bear. Oh, the skiers are having a great time. And the snowboarders having a great time today. I don't know if you can see, but there was a hummingbird that just flew by right above where you can see the snow. So that's it from Southern California, from the Winter Garden. God bless you all. Remember that Jesus loves you and he was prophesied through all of the old Jewish writings for 2,000 years before he was ever born. Maybe longer. I don't know. But the prophecies are all there and he came and fulfilled them all. He made peace on earth, goodwill to people. I'll see you again. Adios. Be sure and like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell. Bye-bye.